Avid runners and race walkers are feeling a huge loss as local races are canceled, of course, due to the coronavirus. Matthew Nippon is the CEO of Charge Running, and he's here with a new way to stay in the racing game. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, we see, you know, all of our races are canceled um, when many of us are moving to the virtual world. So this is what's inspired your uh, new app, Charge Running. Yeah, so we've been around for a few years, but um, our, our mentality has been the same. You know, we want to offer live fitness classes and live races uh, that you can do from the comfort of your own house. So how do people access this and what can they actually do with the app? Great question. So when you hear virtual race, it can be a little bit confusing. So what we do that's that's very different is you download our app. It's called Charge Running from the App Store or chargerunning.com. And you can see that we offer 20 different live classes every single day. We also host live races. When you tap into one of those, you're instantly running with maybe 20 or 30 other people from around the world. So your phone doesn't just show your stats anymore. It's a live leaderboard of everyone else that's running at the exact same time. And that's actually not even the best part. Each run also has a live coach, a live trainer, someone talking to you through your headphones, motivating you. They're your DJ, they're picking out music. So you get a very similar experience to a live race experience, but you can do it just running outside your home or on your treadmill. And how does it track or log? If, for example, I like to keep a running uh, log on my walking so I know how far I've walked in, let's say, four or five months. How does that uh, app do that? Yeah, if you're running outside, we use the GPS and we track it like a, a conventional tracker does. If you're running inside, we use uh, some sophisticated algorithms to look at your step size, your pace, uh, a whole bunch of sensors to estimate your distance on the treadmill that you can uh, then have saved to another app if you'd like, like Strava. Now, when you said uh, you were you're kind of running with other people, can you compare yourself? Can you compare your time with others? Yes, exactly. So while you're in the middle of a race, even if you just glance at your phone or your Apple Watch, you can look and say, all right, I'm in fifth place. And you can see that, oh, I'm only 0.02 miles you know, behind the next person. Uh, and the coach is reading all these stats in real time too. So they can give you specific things that says, all right, Angie, I want you to know that you're just ahead of Michael. You know, can you pass him? Or Michael, can you pass Angie? Um, things like that to uh, build a little motivation and fun into well, it. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun too. And when you're out there and going a long distance, it's good to have a voice in your head that's encouraging because it gets kind of hard sometimes. So when, uh, when, when COVID is over and we hope it will be soon and there's a vaccine and we're back in the racing world with a big crowd of people, uh, where will you ramp go at that time? Yeah, that's a great question. So. Running classes have been picking up all through different parts of the world. You know, in the Chicagoland area, there's now 15 different places that offer treadmill classes. And they charge somewhere between $30 to $40 a class. What we're doing is offering unlimited classes for anybody for $15 a month. And it gets cheaper if you buy a year at a time. That is great to know. So tell uh, our audience where they can go to learn more and uh, download your app. Yeah, just go to chargerunning.com. Thank you so much, Matthew. It was great to talk to you. Thanks for keeping us going.